Hey, good morning. What's percolating there, good citizens? Uh, check this out. I, I, before before I close the week out, I wanted to drop some jewels on you guys. And, um, you know, I think I probably drop a, drop a video like once a week. Some of them might be cool, me giving advice, and some of them might just be me rambling on about some things that are bothering me. But today I wanted to do a little something, something for, for the fellas, right? Because women can be these difficult things to us sometimes. And it's often said that women are um, horrible at communicating to the man, like, you know, the man's like, yo, just tell me what you want and all that stuff. But what I've learned, right? And this is not, this is not doctrine in any book that I've read, but this is just what I know to be true through my life experiences. So, um, women do communicate with us, but they have their own way of communicating. And we need to have a coming to Jesus that this is just what it is. And we just have to accept it. And then we can progress and, and get on with our lives and, and take care of our women just a little bit better. So first and foremost, step number one to learning your woman, fellas, if you do not have her menstrual cycle memorized, and I don't mean like on the calendar, you looking up at it. I mean, memorized by like her behavior, you are slacking in your macket. All right. So what I want you to do is take these first 30 days and I want you to learn her menstrual cycle. See how she acts before. I want you to see how she acts during. I want you to see how she acts after. Because there's always going to be that little hormonal imbalance, you know, however their menstrual cycle affects them differently, but you will always notice a difference in their behavior before, during, and after, after their menstrual cycle. And once you do this right, you're going to know like her likes and dislikes and stuff before her period even starts. And you can do it so well, you will know her period before she even knows her period's about to start. So for example, let's say your woman is huffing and puffing over there by the dishes, right? You notice, oh snap, yeah, it is It is about that time of the month. She don't like doing them dishes. So you just knock the dishes out real quick. Like, hey babe, um, you know, I, I got I got the dishes, you know, and this is like be your first, your first little, your first little test. And I, I'm gonna I'm I'm throw a couple more scenarios at you to help you, to help you uh, through this one. So. You knock out the dishes for you. You listen to her little her little love language just a little bit, right? So man, she appreciates that. She might be looking at you crazy, but she hears you. Next thing, you know, so you already knocked out the dishes. Let's say the following month. Here's what I want you to do. Now you understand that she doesn't like doing the dishes. So this month, what I want you to do for your 60 days is right before her period starts, if, if you know, she doesn't like doing the dishes or whatever it is, knock out the dishes, go upstairs, run the bath water, set your timer when you run that bath water. This is very important, gents. I'm, I'm dead ass serious. Start the, start the, the, the tub, get that little bubble bath going, light them candles, but start your timer. See how long it takes for that tub to fill up. And the reason that this is important is because you're going to be able to multitask on month number three. So, on month number three, what how this is gonna look, you're already gonna get the dishes started, um, you getting dinner started, and let's say it takes 25 minutes for the tub to fill up. You set your timer for 25 minutes, you know, you got that tub going 25 minutes later, everything's gonna, everything's gonna be done. Now you tell her, hey babe, go ahead and hop up there. I've, I've laid out your clothes on, on the bed, just go ahead and take a little bubble bath. You got the candles going, you know what I'm saying, you got, you got the whole the whole shebang. She's loving every moment of this because she didn't even want to do them dishes. She don't even understand why she why she feeling frustrated right now. But you already beat her to the punch and alleviating some of that stress. So that bubble bath going, maybe she throws on her tunes or whatnot. You down there knocking out the dishes. The food's already done by the time she get downstairs. You laid out her clothes and her underwear. Yo. This, I cannot stress this enough. Her favorite kind of underwear, lay those out. If they the big ones that go up to her goddamn neck, lay those big ass panties that go up to her neck out. She's going, she needs to be comfortable. This isn't about you, right? So then she come down and she's going to be looking at you like, huh, you know, I appreciate that. And let's say she likes wine and chocolate, right? So before her period, wine and chocolate, you already picked up some of that on the way home. You threw some of that up in the refrigerator. So she comes down from her bath, dinner started. She are, she, she, Sitting there, she eating, she stuffing her face, feeling good. Like, man, my man done did a little something, something for me. <laughs> I'm loving this. But she's still giving you that eye because she's like, what a, where you learn this from? 
just riding with you. But like, so at that point, everything's done. She's sitting down, she's watching her favorite show. And then there's one more trick up your sleeve. You come over there with the wine and her good chocolate, whether, whether that's Godiva. And it's all, it's all crunchy because you had it in the refrigerator. And she's gonna appreciate that. I'm telling you. So, and, and another little jewel. Let's say she huffing and puffing over here by the laundry. This is, yo, I'm telling you this right here, fellas. Like how many, how many of us love doing laundry? I don't, right? I'm gonna tell you something smooth, right? This this works for me, and it might not work for all y'all. And some of the ladies gonna hear this, and they gonna be like, ah, they gonna be hip to your game. But some of them ain't. And then you, hey, you you just you got one one over on them. So here's what I do, like for the whole little laundry situation, right? I um, I don't know if I should share this. Well, I'm gonna share it. I'm gonna share it. So what I do for for the laundry is while she's huffing and puffing about the laundry, I ask her about her day. And I sit down with her and I start folding up clothes. But I'm folding up real slow. And she might be slow to open up about her day. Maybe, you know, she has something that's that's bothering her for for whatever reason and she don't wanna talk about it just yet. But as soon as you start talking about your day, then she's gonna vent. This is where you need to learn how to be one of the girls. Girls do not want advice. They don't. They just venting just to vent and they talking and you gotta hit her with some of the, what, I can't, she said, what? Oh, man. Hold up, say that again? Wow. You got to hit it with some of those, right? Whole time, you folding clothes, clothes up kind of slow, like real slow tempo. She over there folding, and she's talking. She's folding that, that fast, right? That fast, seriously. And then next thing you know, the laundry done, and you've been sitting down there talking to her. She all released. She's like, man, my man was listening to me. Only thing you need to do is just listen. Don't offer no advice. Do we mess this up all the time by offering advice. Do not offer your lady advice. She doesn't want it. She just wants to vent. That's it. So, I think that's about a long enough vent. You know what I'm saying? I'll probably drop one of these on you like every week. But again, I appreciate you guys for tuning in to Riding With Q. And uh, it's been a pleasure talking to you fine citizens. Peace out.